everyone and welcome to my reaction to my 2022 goals and my 2023 goals video. I do this video every single year and basically what it is is me reacting to my previous year's goals, see how well I did and then also setting myself some goals for the year going forward. I have the video already set up and ready to go so let's just watch, see what my goals were and see how well I did. Um, my first one is to read 60 books, I always say 60, I um, feel like that's a really, really achievable number for me because that averages out at a book a week plus 8 comics, which is definitely something I can do. Obviously, I want So I have read 277 books at last count, um, according to my Goodreads. So I've definitely smashed that. That is all 90% comics. I'll go through my full stats um, at the beginning of January because obviously I want my full stats for December and everything, but I've definitely done that. I've read a lot of comics. I know that because obviously I've done a lot of like Doctor Strange stuff. I've done a lot of like America Chavez, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, Black Panther, Thor. I mean, the Jason Aaron Thor run was like 10 volumes long by itself, so I definitely did better than my average on that one. I don't know how many novels I've read. Um, it's probably been about 60 novels, to be fair. Again, my full stats will go into that, but I've definitely achieved that one. Definitely. I will still keep it at the 60, though, I think. I'll have to have a think about that in a minute, but I've definitely smashed that goal to start up with. I want to continue upping my number of diverse authors that I read each month. Um, I've done pretty well with it this year. I've got to admit it is better than last year, but I still want to continue on with that and sort of keep on upping it so it keeps on growing essentially and I'm not going to be happy until it's like 50 50. So, so I did pretty well on that one, I will say. Like I said there, I don't actually um, have my full stats yet because obviously it's not the end of the year, but I think I've done pretty well on this one. I don't think I'm anywhere near 50 50 yet, but. I think I've done pretty well on that. Again, I'm still going to be continuing on and sort of still working towards that 50-50 goal. But I think I've made progress or at the very least stayed the same as I did last year. I will review that when my stats video comes out next year. Things because I keep on failing on the retelling front. I just, I really suck at retellings, quite frankly. So I want to really read at least three. I feel like that is an achievable goal. That is one every four months. And if I can't manage that, then... I don't know what's happened, essentially, so I want to read at least three. If I read more than that, fantastic. If I read three, that's three off the shelf. I also right, I can actually check specifics here because I have my reading journal and I obviously will have this in my stats as well, but I have read, when I can find the pages, so on my, like, priority list for the year alone i read as old as time at lost in the neverwoods they were both retellings i also read as well um indexing and also indexing and reflection so that's another um that's another th uh, two there i nearly said three it's four in total um i also read heart of iron which is an anastasia retelling I also read volume one of Once and Future, which is a King Arthur retelling, so I've done those ones. I am also, so that's up to five. I'm also reading The Amazing Maurice and His Educated Rodents at the moment, which is kind of like a Pied Piper retelling, or at least based on that, so I'm counting that one as well. And I am also about to read Bloodmarked, which is a King Arthur retelling, so I have smashed that one. I'm going to say I've smashed that one. It's not like I've gotten the entire, like, retellings um off my list but i've done pretty well there and also i've read arrow shah as well i read an arrow shah book this year so again that's another retelling again i will do the full stats in my stats video but i've definitely done that pretty happy with that i didn't think i'd read that many but that's at least eight so that's pretty good for me Etsy store, um hopefully i'm going to be able to do that now because i now actually have a tablet where i can do a lot of like the drawing and things and not having to deal with like paper and scanning in paper and trying to cut things out and all the rest of it it was an absolute nightmare essentially and now that i've also got a new camera where i can actually see what i'm recording it means i can also film flip throughs and things like this which is just going to make my life 10 times easier so hopefully i'm going to be able to do that and i'll actually be able to upload things bullet journal wise to the etsy store more often now or at least manage the at least four new things a month essentially so 
that is the current goal. Um, so I've been working on that already, but I definitely want to knuckle down and organise that properly next year. And that's what I have stopped doing bullet journal videos because even though I had the new camera and it did make it easier, I have a terrible tripod and it just collapses every five minutes. I've literally got elastic bands around each of like the pole bits um, to try and keep it in place, but it still kept on collapsing um, every five minutes. I'd um, have it um, like so I could see over the top of what I was doing and um, it, the camera was just doing this because I was moving the table. I tried putting it like next to me on like the arm of my sofa but then you couldn't see what I was doing because my hand was in the way and I just found trying to come up with bullet journal ideas just really really difficult um, to do not fandom based ones and obviously I don't want to get a copyright strike and everything else so that didn't quite work so I've stopped doing bullet journal stuff in terms of videos and also selling stuff I do actually have a bit more organization in terms of making t-shirt products and sort of general bookish merch that's going a bit better because I've um like I've got it down now so I actually do like a new design every week and then I upload a new product with that design on every day throughout that week or at least at least two or three times that week so I usually do t-shirts jumpers mugs stickers tote bags that kind of thing I'm looking into other stuff as well like um jewelry notebooks that kind of thing but at the moment my um like print on demand store that I use um is discontinuing everything else I want to put stuff on which is a pain in my behind it's driving me up the wall to be honest because i was like oh i could do jewelry i love jewelry i could i'd love to design some bookish jewelry and then they've gone yeah we're discontinuing all of our jewelry lines in january so i was just like great so i'm still figuring out a few bits to maybe branch out the stuff i'm currently selling but i'm getting better in terms of um organizing what i'm gonna do and everything else i um have a few notes and a few ideas bouncing around in my head I'm thinking of going into more specific bookish merch um, next year as well because I've done quite a lot of like general bookish merch which has been great but I'm thinking I may go into more like um, bookish merch of like specific books and things like this. I'll see how things go um, because I've seen a lot of that online and I want to sort of celebrate some of my favourites and things like this so I want to try and do some more of that. Um, and designing on my tablet's going pretty well as well. I admit I haven't drawn anything for a while because I've been like mainly text based um, designs for a while and using like elements that I can find um, online for free and things like this. So in that case, I haven't been drawing as much. I did start out well, but I've sort of veered out of that. But I'm going to try and go back into drawing again next year, stuff like this. But in a roundabout way, essentially bullet journals failed for technology and also ideas wise, but I have organised a little bit better in terms of the Etsy store, so that's not too bad. ...works into my next goal, which is to work more on TikTok. Over the last couple of months I've really fallen off TikTok, quite frankly. I haven't had that much time to be on there anyway, watching stuff, let alone making stuff. Um, so I definitely want to work on both my TikTok accounts and post at least once a day on both of them. I have a plan for my... Uh, bullet journal bookish one as for my marvel general fandom one i'll have to figure that out because obviously i think from now on we have nothing coming out um for the next like six months or something until like may so i don't know what i'm going to do there but i will figure that out when we get there essentially i'll probably do a whole lot of comic book stuff but we'll see what happens either way i do want to work more on my tiktok account i also I have gone down to one TikTok account again and I've just sort of combined everything in there. Uh, so I do like Marvel stuff, general pop culture stuff and bookish stuff all on the um, book sanctum which I'll leave a link to down below. Um, and so I don't have the other one anymore because it was just too much work to try and do both of them. And now I just aim for one upload a day. I am currently doing bookmas over there on TikTok and also on Instagram as well where I'm uploading like bookish content every day throughout the month of December. I've currently only missed two days but to be fair I've been quite busy so the fact that I've only missed two days is brilliant at the moment and I've got a whole load of stuff pre-filmed for that so that's great um I'm really enjoying that I have 
definitely had more time for TikTok this year. I've done a lot of TikToks and I've started actually doing more bookish stuff in general because I've started doing like a Loki goddess of stories type thing because in the comics Loki is currently the god of stories and that was a pretty easy cosplay and I'm a baby cosplayer too. Um, <laughs> like to say the least I'm a baby cosplayer and so I went for the easiest option I could go for which is that Loki look and because that Loki look is all about Loki as the god of stories and things like this I've started to do like in character book recommendations on TikTok sometimes uh, Instagram as well where I am recommending books as Loki the goddess of stories kind of thing which is just great fun and I've generally been cosplaying on there and stuff like that um, as well usually when my hair is greener than this I won't lie um, I try to bulk film a ton of it when my hair is greener but I do still do it like throughout the year as well anyway so that's been really good fun I've just generally been TikToking quite a lot at the moment I'm up to something like 800 followers so I've been growing it quite nicely I've been growing TikTok easier than everything else to be honest which is not surprising actually I'm up to 859 um followers on there and I just do a mixture of stuff whatever comes to mind again I've got to wait until like February before the next Marvel thing comes out so I'm gonna have fun that way but because I've got like the bookish stuff the general pop culture stuff Marvel stuff comic stuff all the rest of it I have a lot to talk about so I'm doing pretty well on the TikTok let's put it this way I'm doing pretty well on TikTok at the moment which is great I definitely smashed that goal working through the older books on my TBR because I have a whole lot of backlist stuff I just haven't gotten to yet which is completely ridiculous and I need to get through some of that so I want to continue working on the backlist. I'm not going to put exact, an exact number on there but I just want to read more. I have definitely read more on my backlist. Um, I finally read Ar Aragon. I find- no I didn't. I don't mean Aragon. I meant uh, Inkheart. That's the one I meant. <laughs> I've finally read Inkheart and that has been on my list for years now. I've also read quite a few other ones that I put on the priority TBR. Like, um, if I just quickly flick back again. So I've um, read Gilded Cage. That was on the list for a really long time. The Graveyard Book. That had been on the list for ages. Heart of Iron. Um, stuff like this. Show us who you are. And all of the rest of it, I have actually read um, quite a few of them. Sleeping Giants as well. Again, I'll go through that properly, probably in my stats video. But I haven't done too badly on the backlist. Um, I have not read that many newer books, I will say. I've been... Actually, I'm saying that. I got through a lot of comics this year that were all backlist, like Jason Aaron's Thor run. I also got through the way of weird Doctor Strange stuff. I got through multiple other comic book series as well. I finished um, Dawn of X, so I've done pretty well on getting through some backlist stuff. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. I wouldn't say I've cut it down significantly, but I've definitely cut down some of the backlist stuff and I have gotten through a few of the oldest books on my TBR, or at least some really old stuff anyway, and I have completed a few series as well. So pretty happy with that as well to be honest like I said I didn't put an exact number on it so pretty happy with how well I did so many series is just sort of half finished and all the rest of it so I want to have finished at least four of these I may aim for four comic series and four like novel series I may actually do that so four of each because I've got a lot outstanding on both of these but we'll see what happens I know I will be finishing Skullduggery next year which is scary quite frankly because I've been reading this series since I was about 11 but it needs to be done. I'll probably also be able to finish Champions next year, stuff like that so I've got a couple that I will probably be able to finish but apart from that I do want to finish a couple of others or at least catch up with them so that is a definite must and then my final one is I want to cut. So I finished Skullduggery um, but then there's more coming so I technically haven't finished it but I'm fully caught up. I also finished Aru Shah this year um, which I'm very sad about because I love that series. I also finished The Gilded Wolf this year. I caught up quite a lot with Rat Queens um, which I only have like two volumes left of that. I have also finished Jason Aaron's Thor run like I said I finished The Way of Weird. I finished Miss Marvel. I did not read Champions because I ran out of time and I have decided that I'm saving that for when the Marvels comes out next year so that'll be part of that reading vlog. Um, I finished a lot of Moon Knight stuff as well but I wasn't reading that beforehand. What else did I have on my series list? Um, so it's Killing the Children, fully caught up on that one. Shadow Hunters, I 
didn't catch up on fully but I only have one more book left and I have reasons for not finishing that this year so that's fine I'm happy with that um fables I did a lot of reading on as well I read like four of them I think Dawn of X like I said I caught up on Wayfarers up to where I have like owned up to so I did pretty well on that one what else did I read this year I have forgotten what else I read this year I caught up on a lot of things though I definitely caught up on a lot of series I'll have to check in terms of if I did four and four I'm pretty sure I completed more than four comic book series and I know I finished at least two or three book series so not too bad on that actually I did a lot of catching up as well or at least getting further into series that I have already read I have started a couple as well but that's fine I've done pretty well on that I would say I've done pretty well on that five on our own list because it is scarily long I'm talking it's about 40 pages long at the moment and I just keep on adding to it and never really getting through it so I want to cut that down a little bit even if that means I add more later I just want to make an effort to cut it down a bit and what I want to do is either read a long series in like um fan fiction or a long fanfic that I've been putting off for literal years now that is the goal and that is the I have not done that <laughs> I have read barely any fan fiction. Again, I'm going to go back to my reading journal here because I did have a um, like list at one point, I think. Did I have a list? I had a bingo board. I didn't have a bingo board. I thought I had a fan fiction bingo board. Yeah, I did. I completely and utterly missed it. This was my fan fiction bingo board and I filled in th three out of the nine prompts. So I managed an angsty read, a comic uh, like a fanfic i've had on my list for over three years and an alternate universe i mean i got uh, something off the list that was on there for over three years but i've got like 50 odd pages on my archive of our own and a whole ton more of fan fiction recommendations lists saved in my tumblr's likes that i haven't gone through i haven't done that I have not done that whatsoever if anything I've made it worse and I haven't gone through it to be fair I've read like four or five and gotten them off the list this month but I haven't done that whoops <laughs> I haven't done that at all that is a complete fail without even checking I know that is a complete and utter fail Never mind. So on the whole, I'm actually quite happy with everything that I've achieved in 2022. Obviously, there are a few things I haven't quite hit, but some of these other goals, I really, really, like, smashed it or done really well with them and achieved them. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to say I pretty much achieved most of my goals. Obviously, that fan fiction one and stuff like that was a bit of a fail, but there's always next year. And speaking of next year, here are my 2023 goals. So the first one is that I'm actually going to be hiring my reading goal for the year. So I'm going to be hiring it to 120, which I know seems like a big jump, but what I want to do is try to do 60 books and 60 not uh, like graphic novels obviously i'll probably read more graphic novels than that i'll probably probably read the majority of my books will be graphic novels but i'd like to try and make it more even if i can or at least like make it so i'm reading more novels because i feel like i'm reading a lot of graphic novels at the moment and obviously i'm still going to carry on doing that because i love doing that but I'm just thinking I want to sort of even it out just that little bit further and I think 60 and 60 is a pretty good sort of goal to aim for and it feels achievable for me personally so that's what I'm going to try and do I'd also like to carry on working more towards that 50 50 in terms of reading diverse authors and things like this obviously I will be figuring out like how to do that and how close uh, how much closer I am to that in January when I do my stats video and have a proper look at my stats but I'm just putting this goal out here because I know it's definitely not 50 50 yet so I'd like to keep on working towards that goal I'd also want to read more sci-fi books because while I've read a few more this year I'd like to carry on doing that I'd also like to read more retellings again I'm not going to add a specific number to that but I would like to carry on just working through my retellings list and obviously my sci-fi list 
I also want to read some more of the older books on my TBR because I've got a lot of old books on there. I've got the Twig Trilogy, which I keep on talking about, that's been there since childhood. I've got Aragon that I've had since childhood and a whole load of other books that I've had for years and years and years that I still haven't read yet. So I'd really like to do that. And actually I will be helped along with this a little bit because I've just realised next year Doctor Who is back and it's going to be a couple of specials and David Tennant is back and I have a lot of David David Tennant, Tenth Doctor, sci-fi books from my childhood that I've never read and so I think that's going to help me with that goal. Obviously I don't want to just read like all my old Doctor Who books or just Doctor Who books for my sci-fi but I think that's going to help me towards that goal so I'm quite happy with that but I do want to sort of read outside of those as well and get other old books off my TBR and to read more sci-fi books just in general. There isn't comics because I realised that a lot of the sci-fi things I read are comics which is fine because I love that but I'm just thinking it may be best as well if I try to read some other stuff as well outside of Doctor Who that's also sci-fi just so I can sort of read more sci-fi essentially. The general idea is more sci-fi and older books off my TBR so there will be some Doctor Who read in there but I'm hoping there will be others as well. I'd also like to read some more out of my comfort zone and also to do more themed reading vlogs and these sort of work together in the sense that I'm thinking of doing themed reading vlogs of me trying out different genres that I've had a couple of dipping my toes into in the last couple of years and I've reasonably enjoyed and I'm intrigued by and vlogging the experience and essentially what I'm thinking of doing is with these reading vlogs as well it means that I can then sort of pinpoint properly what I enjoy about those genres that I enjoy so then I can sort of target those towards finding more books like that essentially and then also you get to see my journey with it as well because I think that would be really interesting. My only other reading goal is again to get the fan fiction list down. I'm not saying I'm going to try and get it like down to zero because that's not happening in a year unless I only read fan fiction all year which is not happening but I'd like to attempt to read more of it because I won't say I'll try to cut down my, uh, my um, watch later list because I'm constantly adding to it but what I like to do is make an effort to read I'm going to say at least one fanfic a month. I'm not going to say the length of them so it could be if I've got a, like a shorter TBR that month I could read one of the longer ones if I've got like I don't know a not that much time then I can read a shorter one but at the very least that will then get 12 off my list and it will hopefully get me back into the swing of trying to read more fanfic essentially so I'm going to say I'm going to try to read at least 12 fanfics off my list and hopefully I will read more than that because generally if I've got enough time I will read two or three in a row if it's short ones but we'll see I'm going to try to read at least one fanfic a month and get back into the swing of reading fan fiction. That is my goal. I'm not gonna give myself a number, like I said, I'm just gonna say to get back into reading fanfic and getting into the habit of actually reading it instead of just going add that to read later, read later, read later, read later and then never reading it. Outside of reading I've got a couple of business and blog goals. The first one is to branch out a little bit in my designs and go maybe into designing some more sort of like specific book designs and so stuff like more specific books essentially instead of just being sort of more like generalized I guess so I'd like to do that as long as I don't get copyright strike. I'd also like to maybe go into a little bit more of like geeky nerdy stuff as well because obviously I'm a massive geek and a massive nerd so I'd like to do some more stuff around that. I'd also quite like to maybe look into different products to sell as well because at the moment I'm doing the basics sort of like t-shirts, jumpers, um, stickers, hoodies or like sweatshirts I should say so jumpers essentially um like mugs and tote bags things like this but I want to look more into maybe like jewellery because obviously I'm a massive jewellery wearer um notebooks things like this I've got to try and find like supplies for that and stuff like this so we'll see if that happens but I would like to at least look into that I'd also like to learn more about marketing and then apply that because while I have done a bit more marketing this year I don't think I've done enough I definitely haven't done enough so I'd like to sort of learn more about marketing in whatever capacity I can considering social media change constantly we may have the fall of Twitter on our hands Instagram's Instagram at the moment it's Instagramming and stuff like this and like obviously there's like TikTok and there's a whole load of like Twitter alternatives now like post and Mastodon and all the rest of them so I'll see what I can do there and see which ones I like and try and sort of focus on marketing on those platforms as long as they're 
still active platforms but either way I would like to just generally learn more about marketing and try and apply that to my business because I'm not doing enough at the moment and I really need to get on that and I'd also just like to organize myself more with just everything to see if I can maybe just start like pre-writing some things and like making things in advance when I can because at the moment I sort of do a mad pan a panic in the sense that I have everything noted down of what I want to write about and what I want to make or mostly what I want to write about what I make sometimes can go a little bit off the cuff occasionally I won't lie um so I'd just like to be able to like design things and write things and get things ready in advance because at the moment it's sort of like a mad scramble at points so obviously I can't do that when I'm blogging about specific like films and tv shows as they come out because i'm doing explainers for whatever happens in those so i can't really do that but i'd like to do that more with like um, my more general blog posts which is like the reading orders that i do and other stuff i plan in between like different marvel projects that come out and also just my products i'd like to like make some stuff in advance so I don't have to like scramble to try and come up with something on a Monday because I've gone oh god I haven't done anything so I'd like to get that done as well and just try to be more organized in all of that and just get things done in advance because I'm sure it will make my life 10 times less stressful which would be really nice as for general life goals I've only got a couple at the moment the first one is to sort out my sleep schedule I have said this every single month this year and I am still going to bed at 2am so I need to fix that because while it's fine some days it just isn't enough and I'd like to get it back to I'm going to say 1am in the morning so it's not like I'm going to bed ridiculously early and I'm being realistic with myself but I'd like to maybe get back to going to sleep at like 1am in the morning and stop it creeping later and later and later and later and maybe just get that a little bit earlier if I can go to bed before that time great but 1am is going to be my goal I want to be able to go to bed consistently at 1am in the morning and actually be asleep by 1am in the morning by December next year that is my main life goal and then my final goal is more of a fun one is that and that is that i want to work more on cosplaying because i love being loki the goddess of stories i love wearing like the golden horns i admit the helmet is slightly too big for my tiny head <laughs> for uh, like for context my head is so small my glasses that i wear are literally made for a child so that's how small my head is i have a very small head and i think it's like an adult size, he uh, size helmet which it makes me a little bit too big but I still love wearing it I love wearing the Loki outfit I love pretending to be Loki I love all of that I love doing like TikToks in that Loki cosplay essentially and I would love to cosplay as more people Doctor Strange is definitely up there obviously because I adore him I would love to be like in a Doctor Strange outfit and being like Doctor Strange I think that'd be really fun I would also love to do something with like um the winter soldier i'd love to do like winter soldier based stuff as well because obviously i'm a big bucky fan as well so i'd love to do something along those lines abigail brand as well because abigail brand actually has green hair as well so that'd be easy for me with my dyed green hair and i think she's a badass of a character and i think she's turning up next year in secret invasion so i'd love to do something along those lines um polaris as well i'd love to do more with polaris who is lorna dane who is magneto's daughter i have loved her for years she was going to be my first official cosplay um for i think comic con in 2019 i was going to cosplay as her but it was just far too hot to be running around in big leather boots and a hoodie and everything else. It was far too hot, so I dropped it. But I would have loved to have cosplayed as her, so I'd love to do that. Um, I'd also love to do something maybe with Dream of the Endless, because I love Dream of the Endless. I just, I adore him so much. I'm absolutely in love with him, so I'd love to do something with that. Um, along with Delirium, because I have the hair for Delirium. <laughs> I just have the hair for Delirium, so that'd be great. Um, I've also got a coat that's like a long black um wool coat that looks like sherlock so maybe some sort of like alternative punk looking sherlock or something i'd love to do something with that and make use of that coat um because it's just currently just keeping me warm in winter so i'd love to use it more in like cosplays and things like this because that's why i originally bought it because it looks like a sherlock coat so i'd love to do something with that maybe something to do with captain jack harkness i'm sure the 10th or the 14th doctor will be a part of the plans somewhere because i'm a massive 
obviously 10th Doctor and David Tennant fan. Crowley as well would be great. I'd love to do something with Crowley. Essentially the list is endless. I just had someone in my head and it just popped straight back out again. Who else was I thinking of then? Because I said Crowley, the Doctor, Captain Jack would be great as in Harkness. Um, there's many, many many people i've definitely forgotten some probably a member of the x-men would be great as well because obviously i'm a nerd for the x-men but anything like that like and president loki that was it president loki as well because i love president loki and i've got some of the stuff for it already so it would just again be those finishing touches to get that but i'd love to just do more with cosplay as well that is a goal whether it's for actually conventions or if it's just for tiktok or just fun I'd love to do more in terms of cosplay as well. And I think that's actually the end of my goals. There's a lot of goals to be getting on with, I know, but I feel like at least some of them are reasonably achievable for me and it's just me putting in that little bit of extra effort or a little bit of extra time and figuring stuff out. Some of them are a bit more stretch goals or like a little bit more difficult, but that's the point of a goal. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with those. I think I've covered everything on my list yes i have so with that i think i'm gonna leave this video here otherwise i'm gonna try and make some more goals and i think that's enough to be getting on with so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do give me a thumbs up comment down below tell me a goal you really want to reach in 2023 i'd love to know or if you don't have that much time leave me a checklist or tick mark related emoji down below to let me know that you were here i'll also leave a link as well down below to all of my social media if you want to check it out including to the comic book sanctum which is my website dedicated to marvel comics which is hopefully going to be that little bit more organized in 2023 and a little bit more pre-planned out as well as a link down below to my etsy and Redbubble store which will you, you will be hearing a lot more about on my social media channels as i market myself more anyway but if you want to check it out early it's all linked down below or if you just want to see any more of my videos and see me actually complete some of these goals please click subscribe here and over here will be the link to my previous video but until next time everyone bye <laughs>